Hey, in this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you some useful tips when using filters in Flash. All right, so I've got my example text here, which I've made into a movie clip symbol, and I've just been adding a couple of filters to it. So I've added an adjust color and a drop shadow. So I've been doing a bit of editing to both of these filters, so I've got some quite specific values attached to both of these. So if I then wanted to transfer these filters with the exact same values onto a completely different new symbol, well, one way of doing it would be to simply just write down or record these values and numbers, and then just input them manually onto my filters on my new symbol. But this is potentially quite a time-consuming way of doing it. So if we just go down to this menu at the bottom, and you can see a little row of buttons, and I'm sure you're familiar with a few of these buttons, especially this button here, which adds the actual filters themselves. But you may not have used these other buttons as much, and these are actually really important. So I was just mentioning before about transferring filters with the exact same values onto different symbols. And one really easy way of doing that is to use the clipboard button. And this is located here. So if I just click on it, I can do copy all. So it's just copied all of these filters which have been attached to the symbol. So now I'm just going to make my new symbol. So I'll just make a new text box. And I'm just going to do example text 2. So I'll just quickly make that into a movie clip symbol. And then all you have to do is just have my new symbol selected, go to clipboard and go on paste. So there we go, it's just pasted in of my exact same filters and exact same values. So it's just copied over my existing information super quickly. All right, awesome. So if I just click on one of my filters, for example, so I'm just gonna select my drop shadow. And I can go down and go on my I button, which is located next to the clipboard. And this allows you to enable or disable your filters. So in other words, you can toggle your filter on and off again. So I can just have it selected and click, and I can have the filter completely disabled, and then I can click on it and enable it again. And this is really handy if you want to evaluate a particular filter. So I might sort of be unsure about using a drop shadow, so I can think, you know what, I'm just going to sort of uh, check it out without it again, evaluate it, and then enable it again. So it basically allows you to enable or disable your filters really easily without deleting them. And speaking of deleting filters, if you do want to delete your filters, my main tip would be to select it and actually use the trash can button at the bottom. Always use this button, because if you use uh, backspace or delete key, it will just delete your entire symbol, and that can be really annoying. All right, so if I select my drop shadow again, another really cool button is the reset button, which is located here. And it basically just resets your filters to its default properties, so I can just do that now. So it's really handy if you just want to reset one of your filters and start again. Okay, so finally, I just want to talk about the preset button, and this is located here. And so if I'm really happy with this combination of filters, and I want to use this in a future project, I can use the preset button, so I can just hold it down and go on save as. Now I've actually got an existing preset here, so your presets appear in this little list at the bottom here. So what I can do now is I can go on save as, and it will ask you to give a preset name, so I'll just do, I'll just do text combo, and so it will appear alongside my other preset in this little cool list. So if I just go and make a new symbol again, so I'll just do, I'll make it into a movie clip again. And then all I have to do is just have, with my new symbol selected, go on the preset menu and go on my text combo preset and it will paste over those values and filters onto my new symbol. And of course, there's a lot of different options with this preset, so you can go on rename and so you can just double click on your names and you can select them and rename them. And of course you can go on delete and you can just select your existing presets and press delete. Okay, so I hope you found this useful and if you want to see more videos like this in the future, please subscribe and also don't forget, feel free to leave a comment on this video and if you want to send me a private message with some flash related questions, feel free to do so and I will see you in the next video.